Hey guys, there. This is Ganda. We are DNA Manager and Board Games. So, Wave 1, Joan of Arc. We got it today. So, what we're going to do is we're going to box it. So, we're going to do the initial game box, and then there'll be future videos for the Kickstarter exclusives and the other, a couple of the other boxes. Stay tuned. So, Glenda, Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc. This is a huge box. It is. It looks like it's a deep box that has a lot of goodies inside, right? A lot of goodies. A lot of goodies. So, this ran on Kickstarter a little over a year ago. Uh, Mythic Games. Mm -hmm. Well, and tell a little bit about it, Glenda. I believe it's from Mythic Games, 14 and up. And it runs in 45 to 90 minutes. Or more and two to four players. Now, with Joan of Arc, you can play historically, you can play a fantasy style or even a mixture of the two. It does have a lot of historical characters in it. Uh, first wave, you got three boxes, I think. Uh, and if you pledged on the dragon or and the chaos, you got those boxes. Second wave, we will be having coming, and that has siege, legionary. Legendary, legendary, legendary. Uh, there's the church set, the village set, and a couple of the other things. So, all right, we're gonna unbox the first wave, and this is like he said, it's a huge box, not your typical, you know, box. This is oh, big yeah. and deep. So let's all just right. set that up a little bit. So first thing we got are wooden cubes. We love our wooden cubes. So you've got green, gray, brown, and blue. And blue. Four bags of wooden cubes. And then you've got these specialty dice. And they are specialty dice. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. And you do have different sizes. Um, different symbols. Yep. Goodness gracious. And of course, you know, right now you guys are probably seeing a close up of the different style dice. You're so big, they can be in my junk pile. <laughs> uh. Okay, so we're not. The rule book must be at the bottom. We're hoping. Because there is. Because most of the time it's on the top and we can go through it while we are digging and well, look what I just unboxing. And looky looking. looky. Look what we got. There you go. There's the rule book, the scenario book, historical Joan of Arc. Time of Legends, Joan of Arc. Rule book. Well, we start with a good picture. Oh, look, oh, look, reference, player aids. You're all familiar with Mythic Games. This is not new to you how they make their um, rule book and their products. And and while she's looking through the rule book, I'm going to flip through these. Uh, yes, that big, wide, <laughs> wow. Trying to get enough that room on the table. That is the battle board. Is, is it the battle board? Yes. Now this is a hexagonal map system, which you guys are seeing right now. And the die cuts are really good because this stuff is trying to pop out as I'm flipping right them over. Now. Game board. That's a game board. Tiles. Hexagon. And there's several of it. There's now I believe too these are the two sides the player ones. dashboards. That would be the yeah the four player boards, which we're used to calling a dashboard. Everybody has their dashboard. Wow, look at the amount of cards in this thing. The cards are different sizes. 
three different hey, sizes. Even the dice are different sizes. So, so what are the I'm cards saying. with the with the that emblem on the back? Um, those big are they? Nope, they're not these the are biggest the medium one. size. I would say this is the character cards. Go see if they are characters. Mm -hmm. You should have <laughs> seven to seven to two character cards. Yep, there's a lot of stuff. Okay, and then the biggest card cards. Well, one of that is the intrigue card and 42 discussion cards. So it's in discussion cards? No, I think oh, I'm those, right? You're in the middle one? So would that be the, how many is that? 31 troop cards. Yes. If I can ever get the plastic off. Yes, here are your troop cards. You have the halberdiers. The provincial militia. Ghosts and all that stuff. That's pretty good. It's character cards, or you are on middle Black Prince. Uh, I'm thinking these are probably the character cards. Because okay. that's Joan of Arc there. John Talbot. Yep. John of Lancaster. Yep. Now these are double-sided cards here, but unfortunately, you know. And folks, as we always say it on our in our unboxings, we're going to show you everything, which means everything. You know, we're just going to have to really so what lay are these? it out there. Okay, those well, forty-two discussion cards. Am I reading it right? Yes, it's a discussion cards. I said it earlier. Yeah. Oh, there's more of these. Like. No, eight to one. Some of this one. is probably like the. For the Kickstarter stuff. So they can extra characters, right? Is mm -hmm. that what you're saying? Would Saint Martha be an extra one? Okay, heroes. Okay, yeah, so Archbishop. These are for what looks like your different. Bannerman. In three cards. <clears throat> and uh, these are answering question. Discussion cards. Discussion cards, okay. Makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. You guys are starting to see the pile of cards just to hit in this table. There are a lot of cards with this game. So I can imagine you gotta buy all the sleeves for these cards in different sizes. I don't know. They've got a pretty good coating on them. I don't think we really need to sleeve them. them. True. So now we're gonna go into these little ones. We got two packs of little cards that I gotta go through. Okay. And what do we have on the first one? Pudge to look like. They have. Fifty-two legend cards, thirty-six war console cards, and twenty-four equipment cards.
So, one of these ones with the red dot on them? That's the legend cards. Okay. The legend cards. And the one with the blue? That would... Let me see. Okay, this is Legend Cards. The one that's... The dot, red dot is the Third Six War console cards. If you did the red one. Mm. And what about these? Those? Aren't they all look the There's same? There's only five of them. <laughs> five. Hmm. The purple? Are the purple there? Purple. Hmm. There's more cards and more and more. These might be something with specific characters, specific scenarios. There's so much. So they have so many scenarios for this game. Well, that's a good and thing. It looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven battles. If I'm not mistaken. So what's Battle this one? Of Crane, um, that is the legend cards. <laughs> it's like going through. It's like okay, we've seen that already. Okay, so the one with the blue dot in the middle is the legend cards, and there should be says here it should be fifty two of those. Wow. The blue one and the red one is the war council. <clears throat> and you have the equipment, which is also blue, but it's kind of darker at the back. Wow. Wow. Hey, so that is all the cards that just come with the Joan of Arc game. This is the base game cards, folks. We haven't even got into the miniatures. You've seen the tokens. You've seen the um, dashboards. You've seen the hex... Uh, tiles for the map. Yeah. Glenda's flipped through the scenario and the rule book a little bit. We're just gonna slide the cards up because <laughs> it's just a. It's just it's too just much a, space, it's right? Just a pile. On the right. card, did you get the first player card? I'm sure it was in there somewhere. One, but it's first player card. Player so token, actually. Okay. It looks like a card. So. With the first box of miniatures, ah, okay. you get shields, so you can transfer the shields on if you'd like. Alright, let's look at these. Yeah, they're little. What is that? So, man. So they got some of them individually packed. Your archers, your man-at-arms, things like that. And then also you have what looks to be your cavalry, your knights, your archers on horseback, uh, halberds, and then these are probably the character cards, right? Character figures right here. Wait, why? Why do you pack? They're is it extra? Or it, it's it's, it's just single, single. Uh, uh, Character? It's like groups of certain figures. Correct. Okay, unlike having them all out like these guys are, they've oh, just got them grouped in. There's going to be quite a bit of this if you have yeah. to do it. So, yeah, that's just the more smart thing. And they're tiny too, anyway. They're a yeah, they're like 15 mils. I mean, it's nothing. Which is cool, though, because if you have 15 millimeter figures, you can actually you probably use some of your own figures and mix in with this game just to give you some variety if you wanted to. But, you and know, you cannot all put them on the board. If too. you plan to play historically, like uh, we were talking about, because yeah. obviously we've got the um, Siege set coming and the um, Legendary set coming. The Legendary set adds on so you can play more larger historical Correct. battles. And then you can put them all on your board. Right. And that would be awesome. Okay, so that's the first one. What's in here? Aha! Look at that. <gasps> that looks like a... Trees. What you got it? large trees, you got smaller trees. Oh my god, it is so dark green, like... 
you got some rock formations and what looks like up oh, yep a little well there doesn't it look like a cauliflower to you <laughs> it's just right. dark green so you've also got your um defensive stakes and in here they've got the uh ruins of the cathedral oh and you got uh what look to be um stone walls mm -hmm. there's five stone walls here five stone walls yep can I put the cauliflower and back? The cauliflower is so green. <sighs> okay. Alright, so in this one, you've got your colored bases, which this is what the uh, troops go on when you're moving them around and the larger character, largest creatures. Your troop bases that have three troops on each one. And then there should be some in here. Yeah, the two. For cavalry. Yep. Somewhere cavalry right. Now you could, uh, there was also a way you could order extra bases if you wanted, so you could have even larger battles. Um, I went with the base that came with the game, and I am hoping that we have enough. I think we have enough, Eric. They said that uh, if you just play the scenarios, the bases that came with the game were enough. So in this also, you get um, what looks like the angel characters. Yeah. And Four. you get this large one here. Which is the... Okay, what is that? Say it! I don't remember, you got the thing. No, and you don't of have course, to remember, you just have to read it. We have the it's unicorn. Taris, Taris, it's cool. huh. Unicorn, we love unicorns. And look, the little oxen. Oh, oh. the little oxen carriages here. And they're designed so that oh, it's cool. you can have just the carriage there, or you can have the oxen connected to it. Oh, That's cool. a nice touch. I like that. And they turn. Cool. Cool. And then uh, you have this gentleman right here, which is that one there. The Archangel Gabriel? Mm-hmm. I'm well familiar with Angel Gabriel. Hmm. All right. Well, so that is some of those special figures. And the last one for the base game are the buildings. Art of buildings, and for this one we have small houses, a big house in the church. Oh, so here it's just the small houses, and that's a church. That's yeah, the church. So now you could the get the base has the. Oh, these are the small. They're too oh, small. Yeah. And it's like two story. And, and you a got church. the cathedral. And you could also get, um, if you got the village pack, it came with a, a large mill, I believe. Like, that with a wheel. The pack, right? The, you can always get it from the store. <laughs> <laughs> she just doesn't get it, folks, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I do get it, but sometimes it. Okay, so you got the church. Big and small houses. Hey, folks, so that's the base game for Joan of Arc. Uh, stay tuned, check out the next videos, you're going to see the Kickstarter exclusives, the Requ Requiem box, but we got two more unboxings to do, stay tuned. Uh, also, remember, support your local gaming. We support the Scholar Games. Fayetteville, Georgia. Game on, everybody. Game on.